Hi folks, we're going to take a look at number 5 from the uh, Unit 3 Lesson 6 worksheet. Uh, so they want us to show that these two logarithmic expressions um, are equal so long as these conditions are met and these conditions make sense since um, uh, we need to make sure that a is greater than 0, not equal to 1 because it appears as a base in this logarithm and 1 over a also can't be um, equal or less, uh, or less than 0. And then, of course, we need x to be greater than 0 because x and 1 over x are the inputs to those logarithms. So that's why they're giving us all this information. It's to make sure that we're only dealing with uh, uh, when these expressions are actually defined. Okay, so first thing that I hope you notice is that the uh, two logarithmic expressions do not have the same base. So while there's probably more than one way to get to the answer, often a useful trick to use is to do a change of base. Okay, so... Another thing to keep in mind is I don't know that this equality is true, and so uh, I can't start working with both sides of the equation. So I'm going to start with the left-hand side. I'm sure I could also do something similar with the right-hand side. So we have log base a of 1 over x, okay? And I'm going to change that to the base, same base as the other one. So log base 1 over a of the initial um, input, which is 1 over x, over log base 1 over a of the original base, which is a. Okay, so now I see that I've got uh, an input of x on the other side of the equation. So while I can't manipulate the other side, I can use it for inspiration. So I think what I'm going to do is in the numerator, I'm going to rewrite uh, 1 over x as x to the negative 1. Okay, so I've got the x, and hey, I can use the ski slope rule afterwards to bring down the negative 1. And here, well, I've got a 1 over a and an a. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rewrite this input so that it has, so it looks like 1 over a, which I can do fairly easily by writing a as 1 over a to the negative 1. Okay, because then when I take exp exponent negative 1, I just get back to a. So here I'm going to use the ski slope rule, negative log base 1 over a of x. And here, wait a minute. I'm taking the log base 1 over a to an exponential expression with base 1 over a. Bases are the same, so these are inverses of each other. So this is just equal to the original input of negative 1, and the negative 1's reduce, and I'm just left with log base 1 over a of x, which is our right-hand side. Okay, so similar to these proofs where we're trying to show that uh, two sides of an equation are equivalent, we start with one side and we try to manipulate it till we get to the other side. Sometimes you have to work with each side independently and eventually get to the same thing. But again, a useful trick to use is this idea of doing a change of base. I had base A on one side, base 1 over A to the other side, so I used my change of base formula to eventually get me to the right-hand side of the equation. Okay, that's it for this one.